Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Back for something a little bit different again. Yeah, rather than the old unboxings or reviews, I thought I'd do something that I've never done before. Yeah, my cinema cup collection. You know when you go to the cinema or the theatre in America and you get a drinks container, it's got a straw and sometimes it has one of those little figures on the top. Well, I've collected them for quite some time and I uh, figured I'll show what ones I've got. Because um, I have a little collection. It's not as big as maybe some people's collections. Uh, and recently they've stopped doing quality ones. Uh, films like The Flash never got anything. Um, yeah, so uh, since the pandemic, they seem to have kind of like stopped doing them, doing them in the UK. Uh, Odeon seem to be, you know, carrying on. Uh, but we do get a lot overseas. So a lot of places in, in America and like Mexico are still dishing them out, still quality sets as well. And uh, yeah, let's just have a look and uh, I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to dig down into here. These are, hang on, let me dig them out first because you don't want a lot of rustling. Right, okay. These are some cups that I've actually had in the storeroom for many years. Some of these go back a long time. Uh, but we will get to the other ones in a minute. So first of all, I just wanted to show these um, because, yeah, like I say, I've had these in collections for decades. Uh, now I've got this giant Pepsi. It's a giant Pepsi with monster on it. I don't know what it was relating to. Maybe it was when Peter Jackson's King Kong came out. I really don't know. Uh, it's just a really thick, giant Pepsi cup. Um, it does have, like I say, the Odeon logo there, and it has kind of like a weird contraption at the top there. You get a, you got a handle, uh, and you you've got like a flap for a straw, and then it looks like maybe you have another flap for another straw. So yeah, I really don't even remember where I got this from, um, but uh, it was probably the Odeon Leicester Square in London. So if anybody's got one of these or have seen one and knows where it's come from, just, you know, let me know. Because uh, I've always wondered where I got it from. <laughs> OK, so uh, let's get into some of these. Uh, OK, this cup, uh, this is Casper, the friendly ghost. This is not a uh, thick plastic one. This is just, you know, a normal disposable cup. Uh, this is from UCI Cinemas, so I would imagine this is from L maybe London, maybe uh, the Empire Leicester Square. Uh, and this goes back to, what, 1995? And um, did I ever have a drink in it? I really don't know, because it's really clean. It doesn't look like it's ever had a drink in it. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that's Casper. Very unusual one. Some of these I don't even remember ever buying. Uh, we also have a, a Batman one. Uh, none of these early ones came with lids or anything. Not even with straws, I guess, you know, because you just used plastic straws and then just threw them away. Uh, this is the Batman Forever. So, uh, yeah, Warner Brothers. I, were, I probably would have picked this up at the Warner West End in London. Very possibly. But again, such a long time ago. What year are we talking about for this? Uh, 1995 as well, I think, for this. But uh, yeah, nice little design there. So that's Batman Forever. Uh, then we have a bit of Stallone. We've got Dread, or Judge Dread rather. Uh, yes, uh, I enjoy this film, you know. Um, it's cheesy, but I like Stallone's portrayal in it. So uh, yeah. And uh, it's got the logo around there, picture of him there. Again, I don't know if he's ever been drunk out of. Um, don't know where I would have got this one from. It probably would have been London, because 
back in the old days, back in the 80s and the 90s, we didn't have multiplexes. You know, we didn't have Cineworlds. We didn't have Views. Uh, we didn't have Odeon multiplexes. It was just a cinema. You know, maybe there was two screens in it, but we didn't have like six screens and 10 screens and 12 screens and stuff like that. So we didn't have anything down here. Uh, we had an Odeon at Canterbury with two screens. Um and an ABC in Dover with two screens, I think, or, or no, maybe one screen. Um, but for any big releases, like big movies, uh, as a family, we always used to go to London to watch stuff. So that is Judge Dredd. Uh, this one I was quite chuffed with finding, because I don't even remember buying this one. This one is Stargate. This is from 1994, and this is Odeon Cinemas. Yeah, this one actually does come with a lid and it actually has a hole there probably to push out and put your straw in which obviously i never did again really clean inside so it may never have been used but yeah stargate yeah the roland emmerich film odeon cinemas um might have been canterbury because we had an odeon there or could have been odeon leicester square Okay, um, this is one of the latest ones that I've got uh, for Elemental. So this is a, a nice kind of little design. It's got the Disney emblem there, see-through, and it's got like a cloud. So I would imagine it would look good with the liquid inside. Didn't put any liquid in it. I will tell you a funny story with this. Uh, I went to see Elemental last week uh, at my local Cineworld. Yeah, and um, I they wouldn't fill it up with a drink. They wouldn't fill it up with a drink. Um, and I said, can I have a drink in it? And she said, no, we're not allowed to. Uh, but they did me a normal, like a paper cup. And she says, you can fill it up yourself. You know, so it's a matter of tipping one cup into the other. But they wouldn't fill it up. Very strange. Yeah, uh, so that is elemental. It does come with a nice little multicoloured straw. I believe this is plastic. Yeah. Awesome. So there's elemental. Uh, and then we get into the big ones with the toppers. Uh, most of these have either come from View or have come from Cineworld. They're in no particular order. I'm just going to pluck them out, you know, as, as I grab them. Some are larger cups, some are smaller cups. Uh, we do have Inside Out there. Um, meet the little voices inside your head. I believe that's sadness, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's got a nice little picture there of all the characters. And then we have the topper on the top there. Um, it is a little bit dusty. I have wiped it. But uh, these toppers sort of like come off. So, you know, they used to sell the cup in the cinema, but you had multiple choices of these toppers and you could pick whichever one you want. Uh, and I picked sadness for some reason <laughs> but uh it's nice it, it goes well and uh it looks good yeah and it all they all come with these like plastic straws you know that are just usable ones again so you don't throw them out so that's inside out i hope i'm gonna have enough room to put this lot uh, next up we have kung fu panda 3 again this is a smaller cup and this also has a topper on the top, a character. So let's just turn him around so you can get a good look. There we go. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. I actually don't remember seeing this one at the cinema. I must have, I suppose. Um, this is one of the more recent ones of the Disney Pixar's. This is a Toy Story 4 4 key. Love the colour of this really nice colour and also the top as well uh, and it comes with a forky character I think maybe you could have picked like Buzz or or Woody at the time uh, but it also comes with a nice little red straw so that looks pretty good yeah I'm seriously going to run out of space here I'll have to put a few on the floor okay next up we have uh, Avengers Age of Ultron from 2015. This is a larger cup. This probably would have come from View uh, because I saw 
I think most of the Mar Marvel films, including the big Avengers films in review cinemas. And this has got uh, Ultra on the top there. And um, uh, Ultron, sorry, yeah. And uh, I do remember them doing different ones. Like, you know, they had Thor and Captain America and Hulk. But because it was the age of Ultron, I decided to, you know, have an Ultron one on the top there. Let's put that there. Okay, uh, next up. Uh, when I went to the cinema many years ago, pre-pandemic with Lulu and Claire, we always used to go and see a film at Christmas, you know, November or December. Uh, it, it would have either been like the Harry Potter films when they came out in November. Uh, and then it went on to other things like the Hunger Games films every year or every two years we would go. So I picked up the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. This is a larger cup. Uh, and this comes with Katniss. Although I, I wouldn't say the likeness is <laughs> that striking. Um, and I don't know why, but... I also ended up with one of the other characters as well. I can't even remember his character's name. I think it's her boyfriend. I'm not sure. But yeah, so we ended up with two cups. So maybe one was mine and one was Lou's. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Because, uh, uh, you know, it's that long ago. Okay, uh, moving on. We have a bit of Captain America Civil War from 2016. Uh, this time I decided to get the topper of Captain America himself. They probably had other characters again, but they did multiple for these uh, for these Avengers films. Um, Hulk, Thor, you know, characters like that. Uh, but I decided to go with Captain America on that one. And then we have uh, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. There's some nice pictures on there. Uh, and I decided to go with Superman. Uh, they did actually have Wonder Woman and also Batman as well. I could have got all three of them. Uh, it would have been good. But uh, obviously it would have been paying like three times. Because the, the cups are normally about four or five pounds extra. So there we go. So that is uh, uh, Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice. Oh. Uh, and then we have Jurassic World, which I definitely saw at the View Cinema. So this is the first of the new films. And uh, you can pick your dinosaur. Um, and if I remember rightly, I'm sure they had Velociraptors. Uh, they had the one with the frilly that spat at Nedry in the first film. I think they had one of them as well. Uh, but I think they only had dinosaurs on the top. But that's a pretty cool one. I really like that one. Oh, I'm just going to have to drop that on the floor because I've got no room. Uh, what have we got? Oh, yeah. Um, next up, we have Star Wars Rogue One. Really nice, really nice design on that one. Uh, and I I decided to get the most recognisable character, K2SO. Uh, they had Jin and they had Ka Ka Cassian, I think. But I... Definitely they decided to go with KSO. He was the most recognisable character, you know, in the, in the whole film. And most memorable as well. What we got here? Oh yeah. Uh, next up we have a bit of Deadpool action. Yeah, so this is for, the, oh, this is for the second film, Deadpool 2. Uh, and of course, you've got to have a Deadpool character. Excellent. So I really enjoyed that one. And I got a black straw, so it all blends in really well. Uh, what have we got here? Um, I've only got a few more left. Uh, we have uh, Minions from summer 2015. Uh, and I think you probably had a choice of three Minions. I can't remember their names. What is it? Dave, Bob and... I can't remember their names. I think one of them is Dave. But uh, yeah, these three minions that are on here. So I went for that one. <laughs> Very goofy. Uh, and then when Star Wars uh, Solo came out. There's the cup for Solo, a Star Wars story. 
Uh, they did multiple toppers again, uh, so I picked up the one for Han. Um, and I think I must have been in a adventurous mood at, at that time because I also picked up another one with Lando. It's actually a pretty good likeness. Really good likeness. Uh, and of course you can't finish those off without having a bit of Chewy. Yeah, so I picked up Chewy with his goggles on. Brilliant. Okay, so that's those. Um, the last two were, I would say, Odeon exclusives. They didn't, for this film, they didn't do anything in view and they didn't do anything in Cineworld. It was Odeon only, um, which is very strange. But um, I do have an Odeon near me, kind of. It's about 40 miles away. It takes about... 45 minutes to get to uh, but Lulu and Claire live in Maidstone so I asked them very kindly if they could pop into Odeon about two weeks ago to pick these up for me so she picked me up an Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny cup big cup with a really nice picture on there and it also comes with a hat <laughs> the size of that hat <laughs> you ain't seen anything yet yeah, look at the size of that. And it comes with a nice plastic straw. I'm glad they keep the plastic straws rather than giving the bloody paper straws. But that looks really good. That's going to look good on the shelf. So that's uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, but they also did uh, a popcorn bucket. Now, we don't tend to get many popcorn buckets in the UK anymore. They used to do like the big metal type tin ones for some of the Avengers movies and things like that. Um, but this one, this is just insane. This is Indiana Jones's hat. Dino Destiny there. I mean, it's, it's almost life size. But it's a popcorn bucket. <laughs> it even has a label there. It says, may contain unpopped kernels and crystallised sugar. So yeah, you just get them to fill that up with your popcorn, take that in, and uh, there you go, you've got a popcorn bucket. Um, I don't think it fits my head. Yeah, my, <laughs> my head is a bit bigger than that. Do you know what? This is kind of either a cross between Woody from Toy Story or the, um, the drill sergeant from <laughs> Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> Oh dear me. Yes, so uh, that's what I'm talking about. That kind of quality that they've put into it. We should have this for multiple films. Can you imagine what we would have had for The Flash? Especially the container, you know, would be bright red and had a massive kind of like lightning strike on it and stuff like that. And we might have even got a CGI Nicolas Cage as well. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there we go. So that is, that's a selection. Well, it's a not a selection. It's my complete um, drinks containers and, and popcorn. One lonely popcorn bucket uh, for my cinema journeys, uh, basically since I was really young. Um, yeah, I mean, I did have them on display at one point, but they are dust gatherers. So I've cleaned them all off and I keep them in a container now. But I really do hope that they carry on releasing them, you know, like with Odeon. I mean, the latest one, like I say, the latest one is Elementals, um, which, you know, only came out about two weeks ago. So I'm glad they're keeping the cups going, even though they may have abandoned the toppers on the top. Um, I doubt they'll have anything for, uh, for uh, Oppenheimer. Uh, but you never know, one of the cinema chains might have something for Barbie, which would be really interesting. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a pink cup, isn't it, of course. So that would be interesting to see. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Stick down in the comments, do you collect these cups? 
have you got any cups which ones have you got and like what's the oldest ones that you've got do you have many popcorn buckets and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one very soon bye bye